Copy Delete Post is a very easy plugin to use to easily copy any post or page or custom post type that you are using. And one that I love, there are many on the market, but I love the ease of use of this one, plus the premium features. Let's have a look at Copy Delete Post. Hi, my name is JP and welcome to Websites for Beginners. Remember to give us a like and also subscribe to the channel. I often have this where I create posts on a website and this is one for a wedding website. And then you create a template for that post and you just want to copy that post and use it again and again and change out the content detail. Now with copy delete posts, that's super easy. And like I said before, there are actually many such plugins on the market and I've switched around a lot. And then I stumbled across this one, really like it. So it's worthwhile having a look at it. Let's go to plugins, select add new, install now. And really, once you see what this actually can do, especially also some of those premium features, you will understand why this is one that you really have to consider. I'm going to skip all of this and have a quick look at the dashboard. It shows you three places where you can go ahead and copy stuff. The first one is what you are used to when you are in the post or the pages view, you can go ahead and copy it. And then the second one is when you're on the page itself, of course, your WordPress toolbar disappears at that moment. You can go ahead and copy it from there. And then when you're on the front end and you're doing your editing and you go look at the front end, you also have a WordPress toolbar that copy this option there. Great. But here is where copy delete post is different. You can set up states in which you want different things to be copied or not copied. Which elements shall be copied? Yes, you can choose which should be copied, which should be left alone. So if there is a case where you didn't want the content, you only wanted things like the excerpt and the slug, you can go ahead and uncheck the content. If I'm working with a post that I want to duplicate, I usually will leave this on because I'll switch it out myself. You can set up the prefix, the suffix, which date it should do. And then you have also options for your delete and duplicate post. There's a lot of stuff here. So what it does, it will search through your posts, look at those that are actually unnecessary duplications, and then clean that all up. There's automatic cleanup and redirection. This is pretty awesome for a free plugin. Of course, like I've said a few times now, there is the premium features, but go have a look at this and play around with the free one. Let's have a look. If I go to my posts, this is where it all starts. I have your copy, but have a look as I hover over it. It says copy now one time. So if you wanted to write three new posts for today, I'm going to put in three and this will use the default setting for which things should be copied or you can define it by clicking there in this case what you want to copy go ahead and click on copy and there we have those three versions that was really quick let's select view for the final preparation and see how it looks on the front end here is my blog and my post and here in the wordpress toolbar at the top it says copy these and again if you select it you have the options how many times go ahead and copy it Let's go into the editor, click on edit post. And here, this is where you will find in the inspector on the right, under all your page summary information, again, copy this. How neat, really, this is really super stuff. If you're ever in the need for quickly copying your posts, your pages, and even your products, this one is an easy one to go for. Hope this was helpful, and I'll see you again in the next video. From me, JP, adios.